Okay, back to the chaos. Um, just noticed that when last time I was up the boat that the, uh, the wooden top of the bow sprint um, was falling to pieces because it seemed to be made of plywood. Um, so um, I just got a lump of this um, oak left over and I was going to chop that up to roughly the same size and replace it with that. Well, I was hoping to make some kind of pitch and put on it. Um, so uh, we'll just see how that goes, but it might not it might not happen. Well, I might not have time to do it anyway by the time we go up there. But uh, yeah, so that's a sort of job today is, is cut a new uh, wooden top to the, uh, to the bow section. Okay, catch you later. Here's my new bow sprint, um, and I've drawn a dog on it, a whip it in memory of Sparks. So, and now I'm just going to try and carve it out with the router. Um, the intention is to is to fill it full of, uh, you know, black uh, resin. But we'll see how this goes. Okay, so um, that's a dog post uh, carving. He's looking pretty whippity, so yeah, quite happy with that, really. But uh, yeah, now I've mixed up some uh, some of this resin and uh, dyed it black. And I'm just going to pour that in there, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. Okay, here goes. Oops, bit of a splodge, we're just waiting for the tail to be full. That's working all right. Oh shit, it's going over. But okay, hopefully that's all full. Plenty of resin, and uh, yeah, we'll just have to. That's what happens when you don't make sure it's absolutely flat. So, lesson to all of you. Just catch that. That means we've got to sand all this off. That's a bit annoying, but hey, celebrate. That means it's full anyway. And we'll just run the. Uh, the heat gun over that to, um, to get rid of the bubbles. Here's the inside. Uh, what I'm going to do is probably fill this completely full of foam uh, and then we'll just put some angle brackets that we can screw through the sides um, to hold that on and then I'll just uh, probably put filler all, over, all the way around the outside or, or um, Sikaflex or something. Anyway, there you go. Probably could do with a good old clean and a healthy addition of um, some of the anti-rust paint, I think, as well. But there you go. It's a good thing to do because, you know, if water gets in there, that's eventually going to find its way to the to the uh, inside of the boat. Anyway, there you go. Catch you later. First fitting of the doggy bow sprint just giving it a rub down and stuff and just make sure it's it's okay maybe do we coming forward a little bit but 
I'm sure the, the addition of lots of filler around the sides stuff we'll be able to get that to work so yeah quite pleased with that it's good just it's waiting for the to do the uh, the clear coat on the top to get up to high shine and uh, yeah we'll have a look at how we're going to fit that on okay we're down Konya on a nice bright sunny day just uh, had the tarpaulin on because the windows are out at the moment uh, but, but as the sun was out we'd uh, come down and take the tarpaulin off so that we could get some uh, energy into the batteries that is bloody cold and here at last is the new bow sprint in loving memory of my beautiful dog anyway it's on it's not great fit around the bottom, but I've siliconed it in, so hopefully it'll be all right. It's in nice and sturdy. And all in all, yeah, very pleased with that. Looks quite smart. Right, and the dying rays of the sun. Managed to get the table deck fitting in. And, uh... Yeah, all siliconed in, away from everything else. Should be okay, it's gonna have a slight lean to it because of the deck, but hey, there's not a lot we can do about that. So uh, hopefully that is that. Plus you can sort of push down. Yeah, I know. Well, we come here at the end of a long process. <laughs> I haven't made a film of this due to the fact that it will be six hours of swearing. <laughs> is that all? Is that all? <laughs> new windows are in well on the way in inspection john any filler out? i think we're all right there but, but i personally i would leave that until sometime and that's gone cut that one last sharp edge 